We got another great video for you today, and this one's going to be about YouTube SEO. That sounds a little bit scary to people, and we're going to get into that. But before I start, the name is Laura. It's great to see you. I'm a content creator for the better part of the last six years, as well as a digital advertiser for the better part of 10 years. And SEO is something that I, well, employ every single day. So I wanted to give you all back some value, explain how you can take YouTube's algorithm and really make it work for you. So before I go any further, this is going to be a talk that is based off of our blog, which is going to be linked in the description. And the blog is simply how to set up your YouTube channel easily, easily. It's meant to be very, very very simple. So if you're an aspiring content creator, make sure you go check that out. This blog specifically is for new content creators that want to set up their YouTube channel like today and get starting creating content today. But if you're an aspiring content creator, we also has existing content. We have a bunch of other blogs that are not just for brand new people. Go check that out. We're going to be following along with some stuff there. So first of all, what does SEO stand for? SEO stands for search engine optimization. Okay. And it puts simply, and this is going to help me spell stuff. This means how the algorithm works. Okay. Well, that's all fine. That sounds really hand wavy. What does that literally mean? Well, when you go to YouTube, you're going to get recommended to certain videos. And I'm going to pull some up now. And this is the algorithm at work that it learns your unique behavior and what you're going to do. So if I pull up my YouTube recommended here, it's got a bunch of, it's like got like an old Rick and Morty clip to the tap man doing stuff. My live stream, we're live right now. Wolf up, fantastic. We've got transformation church love. We've got the new, the new spirit box. Oh, the new spirit box. I'm so good, right? In, incredible. So this is catered to me. So understanding how to get into this feed for your viewers is essential if you're going to create content on YouTube. So, so how do we do that? How do we do that? How do we go about doing this? Well, I'm going to talk about some strategies on how to make content. And then we're going to talk about how literally the algorithm works that I've seen for not just my day job, but for my content creation stuff. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to make content that people are actually searching for. This does not mean that you post a stream highlight number three or VOD ranked grind five, you know, like you need to make content that people are actually searching for. So what this means is if I'm playing Warzone and I'm a Warzone streamer, I'm going to make content that people, you literally see them searching for. So if I pop into my recommended tab again, just to see like what happens, this, someone has searched out like Spirit Box Rule of Nines. And that's, I, I love that song. That's why it's popping up. So Tim the Tatman's popping up my, my, my things. I was checking out his growl build earlier. Apparently a uh, Dr. Disrespect is there too. Sure. So I've searched things similar to this. So then it's going to pop up. What to take away from this, if you're an aspiring content creator and if you're like already making content is posting my stream highlight or Lorimer stream highlight we don't we don't do that it doesn't work because no one's actually searching for it so you need to focus on long tail keywords okay what that means long tail keywords isn't warzone isn't how to play Warzone. That's better, but best AK build current season Warzone. Mm, mm, that's really good. That's something that people are going to search for. You're going to be easier to find in that pool because the people trying to rank for like Warzone update, man, it's everybody. You're never going to be able to beat all the bigger creators because it's just so many people making content about it versus your unique build for a specific thing that's going to get searched. So the second point here is definitely focus on your longer tail keyword. So the best way that I could put this for like an MMO person, instead of making videos titled like World of Warcraft update notes, you can do that, but it's not going to get a lot of views ne necessarily. But if I'm like a druid and I and I I was back in like classic and I was like, I'm a druid tank, I can make a video that's like a druid tanking guide for Burning Crusade. That is niche enough that people are searching for it. And you know people are searching for that, right? And you're going to be able to rank for those things. Okay. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to match the titles of your videos to the, to the keywords searched. All right. So if you're making a video based on like Druid Tanking Guide, you're not going to title that video like Wow Druid Playthrough. Okay. You're not going to have the thumbnail just be like some like the Wow logo. It's going to be like a druid tanking something, you know, you need to make it applicable to the actual video because the title and the thumbnail do not sleep on this. They are so important. They're one of the most important things because it is the first thing that people see when they search out your content. It needs to stop the scroll. That is the goal here. OK, you have to stop people from scrolling and capture them with your title and thumbnail. So it's very important. And the easiest way to do that is to make the titles match the keywords searched. OK, so the next thing you have to do is you have to make the YouTube descriptions work for you. The YouTube descriptions are part of this whole SEO game. All right, so let's pop into one of my videos here and we'll see how we've modeled our YouTube description. And if you don't know how to make a proper YouTube description, check out our YouTube description to see 
how we lay it out because we're very intentional about these things. The first thing here is like what the video is about, okay? By the end of this blog, you'll have the strategies and tools you need to begin your content creation or live stream brand. From the get-go, you're going to know exactly what's in this video. We link to our blog. Then we have our direct links. We have our like check. This is the subscribe button. This is our live stream with the times that we live stream. This is our Patreon. Then we've got like a watch next thing. The thing I highly recommend, chat, you include a watch next. Why? Because it has keywords around my niche. So the number one way to grow your brand in 2020 and beyond, that was one of our older videos, but still does so does, so does well, aspiring live streamer guide. These keywords are in our description. How the YouTube algorithm, the YouTube SEO works is it's going to try to guess in an educated way what your video is about based on the title, the description, the keywords, and the tags. So tags are part of that, but mainly the titles, the description, and your thumbnail are going to are going to give the holistic experience of the algorithm thinks it's this and then people will click on it and then from the clicks the algorithm is going to continue to you know mess with it it sounds complex but the main thing i want you to take away from this is this okay all you really have to do if i can pull up this guy again okay is you have to make your descriptions work for you by including like call it like or adjacent keywords to the niche that you're trying to do so all of us sounds good. All of us sounds good. I think that's simple enough. Let me give you some actionable examples on how you can never run out of content. Okay, never run out of content. I'm going to give you what's called, and this is not my term, it's been used a lot. This is called the alphabet soup method. What we're going to do is let's say I'm a World of Warcraft person. Okay, let's say I'm a World of Warcraft person. I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to type in World of Warcraft space A. What comes up is a recommended World of Warcraft is Mark, sure. Hey, you know, to each their own, right? What's going to come up is not just an alphabetical list. This is the algorithm giving what's called predictive search based on what other people are searching. These are your content ideas. So if you wanted to make World of Warcraft all cinematics in order, don't know if that's exactly the right thing to do. Sure. World of Warcraft ambiance. That's interesting. You can make like a tavern background noise video. I love those, by the way. I use those all the time for us for us streaming World of Warcraft addiction. So that's A. OK, now to get more content ideas, backspace B. Now we see Burning Crusade Classic Beginner's Guide. Boom, there's a, there's a good one. So let's say you go, hey, that's a really, really good idea, but that's still not super long tail, okay? Let's go to Beginner's Guide and let's space A, okay? And this is how you're gonna do it. A, Beginner's Guide, not, not the best, B, Okay, for Burning Crusade, C, Classic, sure, D. And you're just going to keep going. German, if you're German, people are searching. Go down the list and see where the content opportunities are using this A, B, C, D method. I, when I was making my hit list, as they as they call it, you make like a bunch of content pieces to, uh, to go after. I did this for A to, a to Z, just to see what was going on. So what I also recommend is you pop in and see kind of what's going on there. So if I click on World of Warcraft guide, what are the top videos? What are the top videos? The first one is a complete beginner guide to retail from a year ago. Okay, 500,000 views, nice. Uh, these are big channels, 100,000, 50,000, 38,000. But hey, this one six days ago was specifically about Tempest Keep. Man, if you wanted to make a guide about how to do TK, this is these are things that people are searching for. So easy way to never run out of content is the alphabet soup method. Okay. The last thing that I want to show y'all about how to utilize the YouTube SEO and how to and how to utilize the algorithm for your benefit is the hashtags that are on YouTube. So if if you go to our YouTube description and you scroll down, let me make this bigger, you will see at the bottom I include three hashtags. Hashtag lower for me, hashtag creator tips, because that's what the video is about, and hashtag twitch tips. All right. This video is about those three things. These hashtags are searchable, are traversable. If you click into one of these hashtags, you will get a bunch of videos about, and look, there I am. Look at that. And yes, it's I'm on my channel, on my thing. So that's why I'm popping up. But I love the YouTube shorts on there. It's so good. Keanu, you know, just chilling, right? It's, it's great. So this is another way that people can search you out and view your content. Don't sleep on the YouTube hashtags because as more people use YouTube, as more as more new features come out, these are going to be just an easy way to generate views and eyeballs onto your content. So make sure you're using all of these things in order to grow your YouTube. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a video talking about YouTube SEO. If you enjoyed, if you got value out of this, make sure you press like. And if you're not sub, definitely press sub. We're posting daily uploads. We finally got our YouTube editor sorted, ready to go. So we're going to get that done. Appreciate y'all. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.